paid on here. Oh, you got to push down on that door to get it to open. Okay, I'm back on my, my I don't know, my camera quit on me. I don't know when, at what point it quit. <clears throat> I went to check it and it was uh, no longer recording. So I have rebooted it actually two times now. And uh, e neither one, my regular USB keyboard won't respond during these, you won't do anything during the error messages. Actually, it won't do anything at all right now. When these error messages come up, it does that. And I think it's the USB 3.0 hub that I have it plugged into. Then from there to a long cable, about 15 foot. Uh, I used to didn't have that hub and it worked fine and no problems. So I think it's the hub. And I have a wireless keyboard. <coughs> and uh, turn this light on. Boy, my turned it here we go and I was trying to use it I had it turned on it wouldn't uh, it will work but it did not I thought it didn't wait I don't have to unplug that anyway I thought it didn't make it go into recovery but uh, <clears throat> and I stopped it before the operating system booted uh, just hit a key and then and then it will pause it will set there but anyway see all the lights are blinking green <clears throat> and uh so i'm thinking maybe it is recovering now again it just doesn't uh, give you any readout to let you know that it's doing it but uh you see that one uh, bay three it's blinking real steady and and see that's why I, I forgot about that the other day i thought it was uh, recovering because it was doing this right here could be that when it hit the operating system and booted up it stopped it from doing that what I'm thinking. So <clears throat> I'm going to uh, get this turned off. So I'm going to, here it is, it's at the boot screen for Fedora 32. <clears throat> and, and I could have actually hit a button that I didn't mean to hit a while ago too. Uh, but uh, I, what I did is I uh, it, you can just I just use the up and down arrow keys and and uh, of course I did that with the uh, wireless keyboard I've turned it off now but the USB keyboard keyboard does nothing and like I said I turned the wireless keyboard off well I can turn it back on it should start working again yeah see it'll work so maybe it did put it into recovery mode. I'm going to leave the keyboard to turn off so that I can't accidentally mess something up. But instead of booting it like I did the other day, I'm just going to stop it there. My whole plan was to leave it like that, uh, <clears throat> take a bath and stuff like that. And if it looks like it's still recovering, just let it run all night while I'm in bed, you know. But uh, <clears throat> that's why I wanted to do it now. I'm actually getting hungry and I need a bath and uh, all that stuff all at once. So anyway, <clears throat> that's what I'm going to do, and uh, I'm not sure how much I'm, when the, the, the camera shut down, it may have, shouldn't have shut down because of the battery, yeah, it's just now used up one bar, so I don't think it was the battery, I might have hit, accidentally hit something, usually what I do is use the remote, so that, because it's easy for me to hit the buttons on accident when I'm holding the camera, could have been what I did. So, hopefully the first part was, uh, between the first part that I saw, I knew it was recording when I started, and then it quit at some point, and, then, and this video will explain it to me, <clears throat> and all the other stuff, I was just <laughs> going in circles, rebooting it three times, trying to get it to, trying to get the keyboards to work right, <clears throat> and until I realized, I decided to come over here, and, uh, well, I was going to plug in another keyboard straight into the front of it, but, uh, I pass that hub and everything, yeah. <clears throat> but um, doesn't have PS2 ports or anything. It has, you know, it's only it's made for USB keyboards and mice. So anyway, I'm gonna let it just sit there like that, and uh, uh, hopefully it will recover itself. Let's. I'm gonna look back in there one more time. Yep, still doing the same thing now. The one light's blinking in a steady state, and then the rest are kind of blinking at another another rhythm. Uh, <clears throat> so I think maybe that's kind of a signal that it's uh, 
recovering. That's what I thought the other day, but it didn't dawn on me that letting it boot into an operating system would cause that to stop happening, you know. Now, I expected it to come up with a, a menu and, and ask you again, you know, what do you want to do, so and so, so on. And it may still be what it should do. If this doesn't make that light quick blink in, then the next time I will plug a keyboard right into the front of it and try it again. I'm too tired to keep fooling with it now, though. And I don't want to interrupt it if that's what it's doing, because that last message said the automatic recovery had been interrupted. And I don't think that's what it said the very first time I saw that. I think it just said, like, to run, you know, automatic recovery, hit F1. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to stop here. We'll see how it goes.